Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here from Waltz, and today we're talking about gaming TVs, specifically in the Samsung lineup. I kind of want to go through some of the models and what may make the most sense for you and what might make sense for other people. Now, I've reviewed most of the Samsung line, so I really wanted to make this video about how I think each TV might be important for every one of you gamers out there. And each of the models that I talk about will have a video that we've already done linked down in the description. So if you want, you can go check those out after this. So with that being said, let's get started. Now I'm only gonna include the QLED line as I don't think the 7000 and the 8000 really meet the cut for gamers and I'll explain why. The first TV on the list is gonna be the Q60. And if you're someone who just likes to casually game and you're not playing anything that's too graphic intensive, the Q60C might be the perfect option for you. The reason being is you get that QLED color and processing. However, it is only 60 Hertz. And this is important for two reasons. If you have a new console, it can do 120 Hertz, which is really gonna smooth out the motion on the screen. And if you don't have that 120 Hertz, TV, you're going to be missing out. If you have one of the older consoles like the PS4 or some of the older Xboxes, then it won't really matter because those already max out at 60 hertz. However, if you were to ever consider, you know, upgrading in the next couple of years, then you might want to stay away from the Q60C just because you don't get that 120 hertz refresh rate. So if you're a casual gamer and motion is not that important to you, then I wouldn't worry about it too much. On to the next one. Now the next TV in the lineup is the Q70C, which is just a bump above the Q60C. And it's basically the same TV. However, it comes with that 120 Hertz, which is gonna be really important for those faster paced games. You know, first person shooters like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Overwatch, all the fun things that you know you have to react fast for. Having that 120 Hertz is the key difference here. So if you have the budget and you can justify, you know, spending that extra couple hundred dollars to get the Q70C over the Q60C, I think it's definitely worth the investment as even if you don't have a 120 Hertz console, you probably will at some point. So having that capability is important. I just think the Q70C is a good option for someone who's, you know, looking at the Q80, looking at the Q90, and that might just be a little bit out of your price point. Next on the list is my personal favorite, the Q80C. And this is personally my favorite because I think it's one of the best bang for your buck TVs, especially in the Samsung lineup. The Q80C is the first TV in the QLED lineup that actually has a fully backlit panel. So you're gonna get a huge boost in color and contrast. And not only that, but you also get some processing there that you wouldn't have got in some of the other sets. And like all of the TVs moving forward, it does have that faster 120 Hertz refresh rate. I also really like the Q80C because I feel that this TV just stays under the premium radar while providing a premium like experience. Not to mention, I just overall really like the design. Now, lastly, I'm gonna kind of group these together because I think that all these TVs provide a pretty similar experience, but I'm gonna have to go with the QN90C, the S90C, and the S95C, the two new premium OLEDs and the premium LED TVs. And the reason I'm grouping them together is because in terms of processing, they're all very similar. The S95C is gonna be dominant in terms of picture quality and gaming, and all of the above simply because it is the best TV in Samsung's lineup. And when it comes to these three TVs, I think most people kind of already know that they're you know, paying for a premium product. So the price isn't really the issue here. It comes down more to, you know, your preference and just exactly what you're looking for in a TV. You know, with the S95C, I really like the picture and the color. The S90C is very similar, but it has a cooler design in my opinion. And then the QN90C is really, really sharp and the color pops as well. And on a side note, I do actually want to throw in those 8K TVs too that we don't really hear too much about. Uh, you know, Samsung 8Ks, their AI upscaling is part of the reason why they make them such a great TV, especially in the next coming years. It's going to be some exciting stuff there. Just more processing power to help deliver that picture, you know, as fast and as clear and as colorful as possible. So with all that being said, I kind of wanted to open it up to you guys to share your thoughts. And if you guys have any of these TVs and if you use them for gaming, you know, what your experience has been. I think the biggest takeaway is that even if you don't have a 120 hertz you know, console today, having a 120 Hertz TV for the future 
is a big investment and will pay off in the long run. And again, all the videos for each individual product, they're going to be down below with links as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is a product that you're interested, make sure to email me at YouTube at Waltz so I can get you a special YouTube discount. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like these and we'll see you in the next one.